Um, so my name's Naomi First. I'm a clinical oncologist, which means I use radiotherapy and chemotherapy to treat tumours, and I'm a neuro-oncologist. I only treat brain tumours, mm. and I'm, I'm currently the service lead for the brain tumour service. Mm. So, you know, what do we do? We look after brain cancer, and we've started calling it brain cancer more because patients say to us, oh, thank goodness, I've got a brain tumour. It's not cancer. And so we're trying to use this word more when talking to patients. And when we're talking about brain cancers, we're talking about treating high-grade gliomas mainly, and also brain metastases, so secondaries from cancers elsewhere. And it's actually these brain secondaries that are the commonest malignancy that we find in adults in the brain. And I just want to stress that brain cancer makes up 2% of all cancers, but actually accounts for 7% of all lives lost before the age of... 70, so there's a lot of work to be done here. And also a lot of our work surrounds the treatment of benign brain tumours, such as meningiomas, acoustic neuromas and pituitary tumours. And we wanted to em just want to emphasise how our workload has gone up dramatically over the last four years. And you can see that from 2010 to 2013, oops, 13, um, we have literally doubled the number of, we're nearly doubling the number of cases that are being operated on here at Queen Square, particularly those high-grade gliomas. Now this slide um, was actually given to me by Jeremy Rees, who was my predecessor in, le in leading the unit, and it was to really show how multidisciplinary our brain tumour service is. And it's just showing all the different elements of our service. And I just adapted this slide to show, in all which, in, to show up all the areas in which the MBA has actually helped and supported the brain tumour service. And as you can see, it's truly multidisciplinary support that they have given. They've supported us in palliative care, neurology and neurosurgery, our clinical nurse specialists, advanced imaging, clinical trials. You know, the list is endless. And you know, coming into the service in the last few years, I really didn't appreciate how much support has been given by the NBA and how our service really wouldn't exist as it does without it. And so just to talk about a few of the main things, so we have, have the Brain Tumour Office, and this is really the hub of the Brain Tumour Service. It was started up with the help of the MBA who funded the Services Manager and the Database Manager. And no other MDT that I know of has its own dedicated staff office that deals with local, national and international referrals and second opinions, day-to-day -day running of our five specialist MDTs, peer review, you know, the list is endless. And this office wouldn't exist without the NBA. And I hope you all know about the Molly Lane Fox Brain Tumor Award. And this was the first UK dedicated brain tumor award. And it was opened in January 2011, all down to the NBA. It's a 12 bed facility for the assessment and treatment of brain tumor patients. And it's open to all patients with brain tumors requiring neurosurgical and neurological care. And, you know, there's a day case assessment room and it has its own dedicated therapy team and the lovely picture of all of us standing in front of it. I was also asked to talk a bit about the chemotherapy trials. So the unit, thanks to NBA, um, has its own dedicated medical oncologist, Dr. Paul Mulholland, and a dedicated trials nurse, Chaya Patel. And Paul, with the help of Chaya, has set up many new agent trials and early phase clinical studies. And we just wanted to point out some of the notable achievements he's made in high-grade glioma studies. Um, so um, lead recruiters worldwide in, um, in the Regal study, which was a big study, studies established from UCLH, and he was the biggest second biggest recruiter in the UK for the IMA 950 study, an antibody study. Something that I, that's made a huge difference to me and my patients is the input from the palliative care service. And again, thanks to MBA, since 2010, we have our own dedicated brain palliative care consultant. This was Dr. Jane Neerkin, who's now handed this role over to Dr. John Martin. And they've also received from the MBA support for, for, research, for research. And they've recently done very well with this big study looking at healthcare professionals' views on advanced care planning in patients with high-grade gliomas. 
Um, this is the bit that is my own personal interest, which is the development of technical radiotherapy. And I just wanted to mention a few things. So at UCLH, we were the first centre in the UK to implement rapid arc IMRT for brain tumours. And this is just very advanced technical radiotherapy, which really hones in on the tumours and minimises the dose to the surrounding areas. But with it, it brings challenges and it confers a greater need for, the, for precision of target volume definition. So over the last um, year or so, the um, NBA um, gave us some money to look into using simultaneous PET MRI in radiotherapy planning of meningiomas. And we set up a feasibility study which has been presented and we had a 10 patient pilot showing how using these fancy scans we were very much able to really hone our target definition. And this leads us on to our, one of our biggest challenges um, for me personally, is that we're soon going to have all advanced radiotherapy technologies available for our patients. And this is going to actually cause us problems because we'll have all these things available to us like protons, rapid arc, and the gamma knife. And we're going to need very clear clinical guidelines to know exactly which treatment is the right treatment for a certain patient. Mm -hmm. And we've been very lucky because once again, the NBA have helped us, particularly Penny Bolan. And in fact, yesterday, Neil Kitchen and I appointed the Queen Square Dinner Fellow, who's going to be working with us to try and help us set up these clinical guidelines and run studies looking at exactly what type of technology is the best for individual patients and their tumours. So I'd just like to end by thanking, thanking you because you really make a huge difference to the Brain Tumour Service and we couldn't function at such a high level without you. Thank you.